I'm Hans Margenton. And I'm Lucas Ketter. And this is Medical Weekly. <laughs> On today's episode of Medical Weekly, we have a tragic story of a man named Jim. Jim was playing on his rec hockey team and did not have the proper equipment to play goalie, but he decided to play anyways. A opposing player on the opposite team was coming up to the net and he took a shot. It hit Jim right in the throat. Jim collapsed to the ground, unable to breathe. One of his teammates then called an ambulance immediately and tried to help Jim relax. When the ambulance arrived, they did an emergency tracheotomy. When Jim arrived at the hospital, they took him to the emergency room. They performed a chest x-ray to see if they could see any visible damage to the trachea and the bronchi. They then performed a bronchoscopy to assess the damage to the trachea and the cartilage that supports it. The doctor then diagnosed him with a stage three tracheal bronchial injury. The diagnostic tools that were used in the diagnosis of Jim's injuries were an x-ray and a bronchoscope. A bronchoscope is a flexible tube with a camera on the end that is used to assess the internal condition of your trachea and bronchi. An x-ray is a machine that produces an electromagnetic wave of high energy and very short wavelength. These waves are able to pass through soft tissues such as skin, muscles, and organs, but cannot pass through hard tissues such as bones and cartilage. The sensor on the x-ray picks up the waves that pass through and shows the picture of the bones and cartilage that the waves cannot pass through. Now time for an anatomy lesson. The tracheobronchial tree is located in the neck and chest. It allows air to flow into the lungs where gas exchange occurs. The trachea is the beginning of the tracheobronchial tree. It is also the continuation of the larynx. It is located anterior to the esophagus. The trachea is held open by cartilage. The cartilage forms C-shaped rings. The free ends of the rings are supported by the tracheal's muscle. At the bifurcation, which means split into two branches, there is a ridge of cartilage called the carina, which runs front and back between the branch. This is part of the trachea for triggering the cough reflex. And now for physiology. When the trachea is damaged, it does not allow air to flow in and out of the lungs. The C-shaped cartilage rings that line the trachea are to hold it open. The lungs bring in air when the diaphragm contracts and creates lower, low pressure in the chest cavity. If the cartilage is damaged, the pressure will cause the trachea to collapse and prevent air from entering the lungs. This is what a healthy trachea looks like. This is what an injured trachea looks like. There were not a lot of options for treatment for Jim's injury. The only treatment available was to leave a permanent tracheostomy in Jim's throat. The treatment is to put a tracheal tube into the trachea to help you breathe, and then that will leave a permanent tracheostomy, which is a hole where the breathing tube would be placed, and this would ensure adequate oxygen and CO2 exchange for the patient. This was the only option for treatment since it was a cartilage injury. Cartilage cannot be repaired once it is broken. I'm Hans Markington. And I'm Lucas Ketter. And this has been Medical Weekly. <laughs>